Hi, my name is Eddie. I'm gonna be taking you through the next series of videos talking about a uh, backend developer. Here we're gonna talk about the course topics. What do all of these videos have to offer? Let's go ahead and get started. So this is self-paced, so feel free to watch as many videos as you want, as often as you want. Um, but if you wanna kinda of keep things structured, you can. Now traditionally, this is a five-day course, eight hours a day, so if you wanna use that as a gauge, if you wanna finish this off in a week, you can following that sort of schedule. As always, uh, you can pause me, you can click on the pause button or the video itself. If I'm speaking a little bit too slow, you can also click on that gear button down below to speed me up as well. I'll remind you along the way. Let's talk about, again, what does this course have to offer? We're gonna be talking about three big aspects. What is OSGI? How do we develop applications using OSGI? How do we customize LifeRay with these OSGI concepts? Starting off, we're gonna be talking about OSGI. What is it? What are some of the key aspects of OSGI? What do we need to do to make things work in the OSGI world? But beforehand, we'll set up our development environment. We'll kind of get things started from there. From there, we'll then discuss what is this uh, OSGI container. So we have the basics down. We have this thing called the OSGI container. This is where everything that we're gonna be creating is gonna live. Take those OSGI concepts, create some things, those things will live inside of this OSGI container. Everything will be managed within the OSGI container. We'll talk about how that relates to LifeRay. So OSGI basics, OSGI container. After that, we'll then discuss how do we manage what we call OSGI bundles. Bundles are gonna be the building blocks of everything, everything that we're gonna be creating. So we really need to get a good handle on how do we manage these bundles? We'll take a look at some tools that'll help us with that. If you come from previous development in the LifeRay world, you'll be very familiar with portlets, but if not, that's okay. We'll take some time to review what are portlets, how do they work, and how do we work with them with this idea of OSGI. Once we have our foundation set, OSGI basics, OSGI container, how do we manage the things that we create in the OSGI world, will then create an application. This is our real world application. And as a heads up, uh, it's pretty beefy. There's a lot of good stuff there. So take your time and just know it's gonna take a little bit, right? Nothing comes easy, right? So we're gonna be seeing how do we develop a real world application using some of the tools that LifeRay provides for us. We'll take a look and see how do we build the service layer using LifeRay's service builder tool. From there, we'll then kind of go layer by layer. We'll take a sidestep really quick, talk about permissioning and how do we control what users are able to do or unable to do with the application. We'll take a look at the presentation or the view layer. How do we build that out? What are some life rate concepts along the way? We'll then take a look and see how do we integrate our application into life rate's configuration framework so that we can configure the options of that application that we're creating within this configuration framework. Speaking of frameworks, we'll also take this application, which is going to be creating uh, some objects and see how do we integrate those objects into a, new, into a number of LifeRay frameworks. We're gonna have the asset framework, the search framework, and the workflow framework. All right after that, we're gonna have a pretty fully functional application. We're gonna take that application one step further and we're going to be exposing our application via services. So we'll be seeing how do we implement or use web services? How do we publish services from the application as REST services? And then finally, once we have everything kind of taken care of, we wanna make sure this application actually works. So we'll be doing some testing and talk about how do we debug or troubleshoot some of the issues that are uh, that may arise along the way. So OSGI basics to building an application. Finally, part three is gonna be talking about the uh, customization of LifeRay. How do we take those OSGI aspects or OSGI concepts and customize LifeRay? So we'll take a look first and see how is LifeRay kind of built some of the architectural ideas, some of the architectural basics along uh, basics of LifeRay. 
From there, we'll then see how we are able to use these modules or bundles to customize various different aspects. We'll see how do we customize the UI? How do we customize the service layer? How do we extend LifeRace schema? How do we override some of the controller layer actions that are within LifeRay? How do we leverage the events that are occurring within LifeRay and make something else happen? So for example, if we're logging in, maybe we wanna do something else along the way. We can capture that login event, have our own custom implementation or logic, and then finish off the login. We'll talk about LifeRay's message bus, as well as how do we customize the portal search. So there's gonna be a lot of good stuff, a lot of things along the way. Uh, I'm gonna to try to keep these videos short. I'm gonna to try to highlight some of the big ideas, the main ideas, but feel free to take a look at the code itself and take a look at some of the things I may not cover. There's a lot of good stuff. I wanna respect your time. So let's go ahead and get started and let's move on to the next module.